You're watching Fox 9 News. Well, in her first TV interview, a state whistleblower says she's faced retaliation after finding mistakes at the Department of Human Services. Faye Bernstein says one DHS official's response was to suggest she seek therapy. Fox 9's Theo Keith talked with her. I am definitely viewed as the bad guy. Faye Bernstein says she still faces retaliation for reporting mistakes in state contracts earlier this year. I was escorted out of the building. She spoke out about the wrongdoing at a Senate hearing in August and says she thought things would get better for her. It actually did the opposite. I think if anything, I have experienced more retaliation since then. Bernstein is a 14-year employee of the Department of Human Services. She's a compliance officer, but says supervisors have told her she's too focused on compliance. She hasn't been fired, but Bernstein says she has been excluded from meetings, work taken away from her. While DHS has opened an investigation into the issues she's raised, Bernstein says she's disappointed by it. When I spoke with the director of that agency, his focus was to um, highly encourage me to use the therapy of our employee assistance program, uh, which I found a little bit offensive. There's a problem. It's widespread and I'm very concerned. Republican State Senator Jim Abler says he fears Bernstein's story will stop other employees from speaking up. This woman, out of doing her job, speaks up about compliance issues as a compliance person. She's on all the networks, still feels at risk for her job. Still. Today. DHS is the state's biggest agency. For years, it gave $29 million in unauthorized payments to two Native American tribes without anyone knowing who gave the green light, why, or when. Bernstein tells me she expects more unauthorized payments to surface. There are more areas like that. Unfortunately, there probably are. There's also, I should say, some areas where things are working great. But the areas where things are working bad, they get real bad. Late Tuesday afternoon, DHS officials confirmed several ongoing investigations. In a statement, Commissioner Jody Harpstead said, When I say I won't tolerate retaliation against employees, it's not just talk. We have systems and processes in place for employees to follow when they need to raise concerns. Investigating those concerns allows us to gather all the facts. A DHS spokeswoman says it is not uncommon to refer employees to the employee assistance program as Bernstein says she was. Meanwhile, the state's top watchdog, legislative auditor Jim Nobles, told me last week that he is monitoring Bernstein's allegations. From the Capitol, Theo Keith, Fox 9.